All right, welcome back, guys. Today, I want to do a quick review of these scope rings right here. So if you've ever bought scope rings off Amazon or anywhere else, you know, like eBay or anything like that, where they're, you get kind of the cheaper scope rings, they're, they generally work okay, um, but they're kind of inconsistent on how they hold the uh, how they hold the scope. So, for instance, these right here, these are a cheaper pair that's actually also included with with this one right here. This is their uh, ED one to six. So, and they work fine, um, but you'll notice on here, like they have a little um, I don't know what you call that, a little piece of material in there on the top and the bottom to kind of give it. A little bit of cushion you know so it doesn't scratch anything because a lot of the and most scope rings come with something like that in there and it's mainly to uh, one it helps you know provide even pressure I guess from top and bottom but it also helps prevent your scope from getting scratched and I mean that's that's a good thing I guess um, it's not necessarily a bad thing but what that does do is it kind of creates uneven pressure there's more pressure on the top and bottom assuming everything is perfectly round now, something I've noticed, not with these uh, rings specifically, now you'll be able to see it on these rings as well, but it's not nearly as bad as there's another scope I'm reviewing currently made by CV Life, and it's an LPVO, and you'll see the review for that at some point. Um, but it actually has a, a really, really cheap set of scope rings. These are actually not bad, considering these are free and come with a scope. Normally, stuff that's included with a scope is pretty, pretty trash, and the ones that come from CV Life, which, again, you'll see in my review, are they're functional, uh, but they're not ideal and they're made. I'm sorry. I didn't bring them out here But they're thinner than even these are and you can tell it's not like perfectly circle And there's going to be uneven pressure on places and it more or less bends around you know the uh, The LPVO the scope body in order to provide pressure So that's going to do a couple things that's not good one It's not going to provide even pressure all the way around the scope So you're not going to get a good snug, you know grip whenever you tighten everything down there's going to be more or less hot spots and it will probably be fine, but that can, one, it could cause damage, I guess, potentially to the scope, at least to the finish, to the outside, you know, because it's going to be grinding more or less on one side worse than, you know, another area. And it also, the scope could move in theory if there's not good sufficient pressure all the way around. If, you know, let's say you have a high spot over here and over here, that may not be enough friction to hold it in place and your scope could move. So having a good round center um, that's even is important. But one of my favorite scope rings up until this point was the UTG, the, the Pro Series, if I remember correctly. And I have a couple sets of those that I've used for um, for different scopes over the years. And they work pretty well. They're fairly inexpensive and they're fairly well machined. And they're, you know, the the uh, circle on the inside is fairly well done. It's not perfect, but it's, it's better than most. And I've also used SWFA, which I've had one of their scopes before. It's a 10 power scope that I had on a, uh, a Remington 700 that I had a while back. I've since gotten rid of it, but I had that on there. And these scope rings uh, remind me of those SWFA scope rings. And if you know, SWFA actually makes really good stuff. Um, I think they have military contracts and stuff as well. But one thing I uh, noticed with the SWFA is even though they were you know higher end scope rings, they still weren't perfectly round and it still, I don't know, it. Whenever you tighten it down, they actually had three screws on top. Whenever you tighten them down, um, the, the pressure just didn't seem even. So depending on the different manufacturing technique, you can get different you know, quality. So I like the UTG Bro, um, I like the SWFA, but these are my newfound favorite ones. And if you notice, I have this uh, single point, or not single point, but a uh, one piece mount over here, scope mount for this. I'll have a review over this at some point. It's, it's in the work. They're actually redesigning some different um, Oh, some different tolerances in there to make them a little bit better. Um, so that's coming at some point. Uh, but these specifically are probably the best scope rings I've used to date. And if you look at them, these things are just absolutely, they're beefy. So, and these are, are made for, I think these are a 35 millimeter. Yeah, they are 35 millimeter. That's one nice thing about them. They li label literally everything on here. So you'll never throw these in a, in a drawer and then grab them later on and not know what size they are. So if you are constantly switching out things, like that's nice to just, you know, you not have to, I guess, get a Sharpie and write on there. It's already on there, so that's nice. Um, but these are my favorite to date, mainly just because of the quality. Um, most scope rings that I've gotten, uh, whenever you tight, tighten the screws down, like it's so easy to strip them out. Um, these, whenever you tighten them down, I'm, I mean, it just feels quality as you tighten them down. So whenever you tighten these down with a torque uh, wrench or a torque screwdriver, whatever you want to call it, 
Um, as soon as they get there, there's none of that creaking that you hear with a lot of you know screws, and you, and that's the aluminum giving way. Um, this doesn't do that. So they make a couple different versions of this. One is a 6061 aluminum, and the other is a 7075 aluminum. So you can, I don't actually remember which one these are, um, but you can order either or. So I think the pro versions is what they call them, are their 7075 aluminum series. So if you're looking for something a little bit more rugged, you can get that. I think those are around $39, depending on what size you get and what height you get. And then the, uh, the cheaper ones, I think, are $29 uh, for the 6061 aluminum. So if you don't need something that's super you know, rugged and durable, you can get the cheaper ones, save yourself a little bit of money. But all that said, for that price, which again is roughly the same as the UTG stuff, um, you're getting significantly better quality. The screws themselves are made of steel. Um, the body itself, like I said, is made of aluminum. And they actually include all the torque values on there. Hopefully you can see this. They include all the torque values that are on there. So this is 20 inch pounds, so you know exactly what to tighten it to instead of just kind of guesstimating. Or a lot of companies will include a little Allen key like this, and you know, you'll know you strip it because you'll start tightening, you're like, I don't know how tight I'm going, so uh, about that sounds good. So they include torque specs that are right there, so it's foolproof. And they also use torque screws right here, which I also like because I hate using Allen keys um, for stuff because they usually, it almost always strips out the screw. They also include the torque values at the bottom. You can see where it attaches on the pick rail. It is 30 inch pounds and the top is 20 inch pounds. So that's nice. I believe it uses the same size uh, screws as well for that. They also, I don't have the box. I don't know what I did with it. It's somewhere out here. Um, yeah, I don't see it anywhere, but it comes with just in a clear case and they actually include extra screws, which I can appreciate because if you're like me, you'll lose stuff. Um, I appreciated the fact that they include that. Um, they also have different heights, so you can get different size rings, obviously, and you can get different heights, and they have a chart on their Amazon page and their homepage uh, for their website of uh, whatever sizes you know you may or may not want, so I think that's cool that they include different sizes. All right, so I took those screws out. So this, to me, is the biggest selling point. One is they m machine this out specifically after it's together to give you that perfectly round hole, and yes, I'm going to keep doing that. <laughs> But it gives you a perfectly round hole. And what that does is it provides, well, it does a couple things. One, it prevents more or less hot spots, I guess for lack of better words, or undue pressure or uneven pressure on your scope body. So the entire scope ring is applying pressure equally on your scope, which means it's gonna hold on to it better. Um, I like that. And you don't have to worry about crushing your scope to body. Maybe you, if you bought a cheaper one or something and the material isn't you know, as durable. Whenever you tighten down, um, say on something cheaper like this, if this isn't perfectly round, and maybe the scope tube isn't perfectly round and you start tightening it down, it could crush something. Um, because I've seen, especially on cheaper scope rings, whenever you tighten it down, like it's literally bending this top piece around uh, the scope body and that cannot be good for it. Versus this is as soon as you put this on there, it's snug, it doesn't move, um, it you know, fits it perfectly. So if you also will notice on here, there are posts inside here. And this is another thing I love about it. So you have these posts right here and then you have the posts right here. So whenever these go in, there is no wiggle. I mean, there, you can see there's just barely, barely any wiggle whatsoever. It's actually very tight in there, which is not something you get with a standard uh, set of rings, which are just basically gonna be wiggling all over the place. And, you, and the only thing holding them down in the same position is the screws and just the tension, you know, that's on the screws versus this, it's kind of like an RMR cut slide kind of thing where you have the RMR post you know, in place and the screws are only holding down. They're not holding side to side or anything like they would be on this one. So I like that. And it also makes it whenever you're putting this on, you know, you put it on over the scope, you don't have to worry about this thing shifting all over the place and applying uneven pressure as you're torquing the screws down. So I like that. Again, this was a quick video, but these, at least at the moment, are my favorite scope rings to date. They are a little chunky, and I can actually weigh them for you real quick, just so you can kind of see this. Uh, let's adjust this down just a little bit. All right. So with the screws that are on there, they are, all right, 2.9 ounces is what I'm getting for this specific one. Again, depending on what model you get, um, that's going to be different, but that's how much this one weighs. They aren't super heavy, but they are chunky. Um, if you're looking for something for an LPVO, you might want to consider maybe a one piece. But if you're looking at something for, you know, like this massive monstrosity here, um, then these I think are your ticket. Again, they make different sizes so you can, you know, pick your poison. But unless you're going for a really, really light build, I think these are a good choice. But anyways, if you have any uh, questions, 
or comments, you know, anything like that, put them down below. I'll try to answer everything that I possibly can. And again, I just wanted to make a quick video because I believe they're going to be promoting these soon. Um, they're already, you know, all over the market and everything. And if I can get a discount code for you, I will. But I just thought I would make a quick video mentioning, you know, these because I like them. And if you've seen all of my discovery outfit uh, videos, all of my, the big boy scopes like this one, this is a, I believe it's a five to 40, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's a five to 40. And I also did a five to, I believe a 25 scope as well, or maybe it was a five to 30. And I used these scope rings on both of those. They were different sizes, but I used the scope rings that fit those and they work perfectly. Never lost zero, not once. So I'm a big fan of these, especially again for the price. That's a very solid deal. So anyways, I hope, hope you all appreciate this and have a good one.